And now the next question, I want you to write it down. I mean, it's a big question. So stay with me while we're writing. Okay? This one says, you are at John's house. Okay, we're going to start at John's house. All right, and then uh, it takes John about 45 minutes, okay, to go. It takes John about 45 minutes to get to the airport. So 45 minutes to get to the airport. All airport right? looks just like, like wait, two, two, one block or two blocks, about oh. one and a half blocks. Somewhere. Okay, yeah. now it says John drives 40 miles per hour. John. Okay, drives 40 miles per hour. Okay, how far is the airport from his house? Okay, what do you got? 20 miles. Okay, how did you figure it out? Because 60 can be divided by 4. Well, hold on, hold on a second. See, so saying 60 can be divided by 4, what's that? 15. 15, okay. So 60 minus 45? 60 minus 45 gives me what? 15. Okay. So you take away one fourth of the 40 miles because 45 minutes is less than one hour. Okay, perfect. Does everybody agree? So then, since 40, you can divide by 4. Okay. 40 to be divided by 4? Is 10. Okay. And since he's going at 10 mi 40 miles per hour, you take away 10 miles from 40. And then what we got? 30 miles. 40 minus 10, you got 30 miles. Not bad. Everybody agree? Everybody's got their face wide open. Everybody understand? No. Who doesn't understand? Okay, let's break it down one more time. Okay? Let's start from the beginning. Okay, let's do it really slow and make sure everybody understands. So it says John's house is what? 45 minutes, right? It takes John 45 minutes to get to the airport, okay? So how long does it take him? 45 minutes. Now, but John drives his car 40 miles per hour, right? 40 miles per hour. So if he drives one mile, how many miles does he travel? If he drives one mile, how many miles does he travel? Uh, if he drives one, he drives one mile, how many miles does he travel? One mile. That's a trick question, yeah. <laughs> if he drives one hour, how many miles does he travel? 40, 40, okay? So, help us out again. Tell him what's the first step. What do you gotta do? You divide 60 by 4. Okay, so the first thing to do is 60 by 4. Now, let me ask you, the 60 represents what? Uh, so 60 represents minutes. Minutes, okay? It's 60 minutes. And how, 60 minutes equals what? How many hours? One. One hour. Okay, what's the 4? Where do we get the 4 from? We get the 4 from his house to the airport. Okay, so 40, it takes him 45 minutes to get to the airport. Okay, so now, what, okay, so break it down for me. What else? So, four, 3 times 15 is 40. 3 times 15 is what? 15 times 4 is, is 60. Okay. So, 60 minus 45 is 15. Okay. That means that you can divide 60 by 4. Okay, I understand what you're saying. Okay, so you understand what you're saying? 4 times. 4 times what gives us 60? 15. 15. Okay. Gives us 60. So that means you can do what? You can take that 4 and now divide it into 60. Now, what do you get when you do that? You get 15. Okay. So which is, is the amount of which is the amount of times 4. So now, because we know that 15 is one fourth of 60, right. then we take the 40, the 40 miles per hour. Okay, stop right there. We understand that 15 is one fourth of 60. What's half of 60? 30. 30. What's 3 quarters? 45. What's 60? 60. Okay, I'm sorry, it's a whole. Okay. So, go ahead, bring it down. Go ahead. So now. We have 40. 40. Because we know that 4 times 10 is 4. Right. To divide, we take the 4. Okay. 40 divided by 4. So we're going to take that 40, we're going to divide by 4, that's going to give us? 10. Okay. And we understand that 10 is 1 fourth of 40. Right, so everybody understands that 10 is 1 fourth yeah, of 40? Yeah. Just so, make sure, okay? So because we, we have 45 minutes, which we already established is 3 fourths of 60, okay. we get 3 fourths of 40. Which is? 30. 30. Very good. Okay. And, the, and that 30 is how many miles he traveled, because they're 40 miles per hour. 
Pretty cool, right? Yeah. Hi, everybody.